On a gray and dreary day, people marched through the streets of Spokane to remember and honor the message of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You've seen it on social media today. It was front and center at that parade. Dr. King's famous quote, hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for this special edition of 4 News Now. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Aaron Luna. Dr. King's message of unity was felt as the day of service returned to downtown Spokane. Our Vanessa Perez shows us how the community honored his legacy. That's right. After a two-year hiatus, the Unity Rally in March is back. Many families attended to make sure MLK's vision is passed down to the next generation. People from different walks of life march the streets of downtown Spokane with one common goal, to celebrate what Dr. Martin Luther King stood for. Michael Bethley brought his son to give him the experience. A matter of just uh, showing love, um, being that love, and really just being able to, to hopefully instill that in him as well, and him carrying it on from, for the next generation. I like that he really didn't care what anybody was like thinking and saying to him and like his family, and he had a dream and he wanted to make it happen, and as you can see, it's happening. The day of service started with the rally inside the convention center. Young people also took the stage to share a message of unity. This rally today, we are taking a huge step forward to uniting the ones around us. After today, it is our job to stay united and strong through the tough times with family, friends, and possibly even the ones that we connected in this from. The connection felt even though this hasn't happened in the last two years. After COVID, or after the pandemic, to see so many people that are um, coming out to support. Um, we noticed that the, the walk was a little bit shorter, but at the end of the day, it was so nice to see everybody here. The community coming back together to honor MLK's life and legacy once again. And this day is looked to as a day on, not a day off to celebrate the civil rights leader. When the march finished, people gathered back inside the convention center for a resource fair. Tomorrow, the celebration of MLK continues at Gonzaga University. The university is hosting a service called Together We Lift Our Voice at 12.10 p.m. There will be spoken word, music, and movement at the university chapel. Live in studio, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. Vanessa, thank you.